ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेक ए फोर टू टू इनकोडर विद इन द मल्टी सिम एज वी नो दैट इनकोडर आर जस्ट लाइक द मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स एक्सेप्ट विद द डिफरेंस दैट मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स आर जस्ट कंसिडरिंग वन इनपुट Uh, and and the total emphasis on the the selected input but in encoder we will consider all the inputs that are incoming so let's make a, a simple circuit in order to demonstrate our results so first we will take our dc power so this our dc power then we need to take a ground now ground After it, we need to reduce this DC power or DC voltage to 5 volt because a lot of semiconductors are not tolerant of the 12 volts. After it, we need to go for our OR gate. So in TTL section, go to Basic and then TTL, or just go to TTL and you will get 74LS32N. This is our OR gate IC. We need to take these two OR gate ICs. On these OR gate ICs, at their output, we need two indicators through which we can see our results or output. We can also take LEDs, but here we are just using the indicators. So we will go for our probes that used to show the logic states or logic outputs. So. Okay, so these are our two two output probes. Okay, now we will do one thing. We will take four of the dip switches. So for it, we need to go to our basic and then switch and then dip switch one. Just take four dip switches. Okay, or wait, we need to. We need to put S1 here, Control C and Control V, and then we will get our the second dip switch. This is third and paste the fourth dip switch by pressing Control C and Control V. So, okay, this is. Okay, we have to align these switches for better visuality. Okay, like this. Uh, you will be astonished on one thing that we are not going to use this S1. Why it is so? Because uh, no need of it at all in our circuit, but we will consider it. Like uh, whenever it is pressed or unpressed, or when we say when it is on at one, we are getting our default. Output is zero and zero, but we will consider the rest of the inputs. Okay, so we will attach our first with this and this one and then this one. Then we need to combine all these switches with one another and with the five volts. Now we need to run our circuit. Okay, we need to open them out and like this. Now we need to run our circuit. It is saying some sort of problem, but our circuit is totally right. So we will go for uh, problem solving. Uh, it is the convergence issue. It is showing some sort of convergence issue that open uh, ensure it is not floating with respect to net ground. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, we can connect it with the ground, one end of it with the ground, and the other with the yes, like this and this. Okay, now our simulation is running. Okay, 
now we can consider this switch one as floating switch so you you can see that when i use to when when, when it is one when switch one is one we are getting zero zero eight output and what about input so our input is like s zero uh, s one zero 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 it is one zero zero and zero so we are getting zero and zero the first state binary state then we will open it and press it like this then we at the input side our input is like uh, zero one zero zero and we are getting zero and one on the output then we will open this one and we will press this one now our input is zero zero one and zero and our output is one zero and in the last we have our four switch and this one and in this we have zero 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 and one the switches which is closed is considered as one which is open is considered as zero and we are getting one one so all the four states are uh, what's called as the proofed okay so hopefully you got the concept that how we can get a binary coded output with the help of 422 encoder within the multisim so thanks for visiting our channel